Falstaff's fatness is almost mythic, right? It's second only to his drunkenness in being really the defining feature of him as a character. Uh, I have some quizzes for you guys. People did pretty good. Don't pack up yet. Um, got a couple here. Not too bad. All right. Some people did pretty well. Good job, Haroon. I'm not hurt. What you got? I got a 90. I got a hundred. Yo, Yo my, my dude! dude. My What's dude. up? How Yo, you doing, dude. man? Nice. So, where are we going now? We should go to my house. Your crappy house? Yeah. Dude, my... what the hell are we gonna do at your house anyway? We could study for the vocab quiz. Dude, only you, you care about studying for the vocab quiz. Elijah, what'd you get on the last vocab quiz? You can go home and study all by yourself. All right, we'll do something else then. Okay, okay, let's just go to the deli and get tacos. And Gucci. Nice. You're cheating on the test, you're not good at it. What? That's subjective. That's not, yeah. Hey guys, I have an idea. How about we run through the park? I thought we were going to the deli. We race to the deli, okay. and whoever gets there last buys the drinks. Yeah, I'm not running. Dude. All right, whatever. We're, we're gonna take the upper level trail, and uh, whoever gets there first, you know, gets the drinks. Yeah, let's regroup at Haroon's house. Haroon, yeah. carry our bags. Haroon, carry our bags. Yeah, it's okay. Alright, on three, two, one! I guess I'm taking the train then. Doing? Dude, it's the fastest way. Hell no. Patrick, wait up. Oh, psych. Great. I'm ahead of him. Oh, Imbecile left me here to die. I'm first. Yeah, well, I jumped off a cliff. No one told you to jump off a cliff. Well, I did so anyway. Dude, where's the moat? Wasn't he behind you? Uh, I don't know, dude. He kind of just... Did he bail? Probably. Dude, he probably bailed. Yeah, I guess I have to go get him. Sitting there, are you like trying to knock this down? Oh my yeah, name. what the heck? What's that text above your head? What text? Yeah, text. are you okay? The text above your head. It said I had a concussion. I didn't have a concussion. I didn't say you had a concussion. I know, the text above Patrick's head, it said I had a concussion. What am I thinking right now? That I owe you five dollars. I don't. That's not even a thing. What's not even a thing? Mind reading powers. The text of Patrick's head says I have mind reading powers. Dude, you just guessed two of my thoughts correct. 
What number am I thinking of? Uh, either. Tell me! Okay, it's 962,000. And the last three digits keep switching between 420 and 069. That's right. Dude, you should be taken to a government lab. Yeah. I'm not going to a government lab. You know what they do to the people there? They take away your life! Well, where do we go then? Harun. What is it? Open the door! Guys, get out. I'm in the middle of an Overwatch match. Come on, no, no, we, we need this, we need this. Dude, no. Amok has mind reading power. <laughs> I don't care, get out. Dude, he thinks you're pulling a prank on him. Open the door, you idiot! It's not a prank! Dude, did you actually fall from that hill? Yeah, after you guys left me to go to the deli. And you rolled down? After I tripped on a root and hit my head on a rock, yeah. And that gave you minoring powers? Well, get out Well, that's what we're here to find out. That makes no sense. Yeah. Hey, he's thinking of starting a new game. Open up. Don't let him. Everyone, open up. What do you guys want? Yes, get in. Get in. What the hell? Close, close. Okay. Alright. Dude, this is serious. Yeah. After you left, we were running through the park, and a moog fell down the mountain and tripped on a rock. Dude, stop thinking about beef. This is important, alright? Think of a number, any number. Okay. 188.9 million, the population of Pakistan. He was right, wasn't he? How'd you know? I told you, dude. I can read minds. Yeah. How could this have happened? I don't know. Dude, you're like an MD, PhD, OMG, intern med student. Why would that make a difference? Well, shouldn't you know something about this? Well, there's been lots of research on it, but we know that it's not true. Well, it's happening right now. What if it changes his genes like Spider-Man? No, you idiot! Look, this is how a cell actually works. Okay, I'm not here for a bio lesson. Goodbye. Okay, get out. So all traits, including mind reading, are determined by proteins. Proteins are coded for in genes of DNA, which stays in the cell nucleus and consists of, d of sugar bases on a double helix backbone. Proteins are made from DNA through the process of transcription and translation. In transcription, <laughs> DNA is turned to RNA, which is single-stranded and contains zero cell instead of thymine. The RNA leaves into the ribosomes in the, in the cytoplasm. Really? Yes. What it binds to tRNA, producing an amino acid change that forms a protein. What does that have to do with falling down a cliff? Hold on. Only some genes are turned on for protein synthesis. This is determined by gene expression. There are two ways that a moog falling could have caused mind reading powers. First, something could have caused a change in gene expression, and the mind reading proteins started being produced. Still, the chance that a mind reading power gene existed at birth is really slim. The more likely the possibility is that a toxin causes genetic mutation, which causes synthesis of new proteins. So it is like Spider-Man. Yeah. Wait, so what kind of toxins could have entered my body when I fell down the cliff? Like some leaves or something? Tell you what, why don't you come to my lab tomorrow and we'll do some tests and figure all this out. Alright, see ya, dude. Okay, see ya. See, yeah, yeah, see ya, see ya, yeah. <laughs> Falstaff's puns on air, and grace, and night. What do they indicate to us as readers? What are these puns signaling about Falstaff? Patrick. They indicate that Falstaff's use of irony, wordplay, shows understanding, lack of respect, and humorous Tell me a little bit more about that. What do you mean by lack of respect? Who doesn't he respect in particular? All right. 
A moog. What did Patrick just say? Um, that, uh... Falstaff's use of irony in wordplay shows untrustworthiness, lack of respect, and humorous disposition. I'm glad you can read the board. Wow, look at this slab. Yeah, I know. There's a ton of fun doing. <laughs> so what do you want me to do here? Uh, nothing yet. Just hold on. Excuse me? <laughs> okay, here's what I need you to do. Take the test tube, put the fluid in your mouth, and swish it around for about 10 seconds. Dude, I'm not just gonna drink some random fluid. It's just salt water. All right. That was nasty. Here. Thank you. <laughs> so what's happening now? Okay, this is called a gel electrophoresis table, and we're going to use it to try to find some differences in your DNA. Bingo! Whoa, what is this? So, this here is a gel electrophoresis analysis of your cell DNA. The stripes show chunks of genes, and how far down shows how far they travel through the gel, and therefore how big the chunks are. It's a representation of your unique DNA, some call it a DNA fingerprint. You see that stripe right there? You see how it's different? So that means that we've confirmed this genetic thing, and your body is synthesizing a protein that's never been synthesized before. Hold up, so you're telling me that when you fall on a slope and your body's getting like poked by like branches and sticks and like all this foliage, that your body is actually synthesizing proteins that may have never been made before? So if toxins and mutagens got into your bloodstream as you fell, you could have gotten a DNA mutation that resulted in synthesis of proteins that led to your trait of mind reading. Dude, that's insane. Think of all the research papers that we could publish. Hold up! You're not gonna publish any of this. Wait, why not? Because then somebody's gonna come after me and lock me up for the rest of my life. Right, right, but it's just between us right now. For now and always. Sure. Uh, Professor Kolecki? Hey, you're in. I'm not here. Um, for this vocab quiz, I uh, got number six wrong, but I'm pretty sure learned is the right answer. Uh, scholarly. Okay, okay. Is there a makeup for this? Uh, yeah, sorry. Okay. Anything else? Uh, yeah. Oh, actually. Oh, I, I, have, a, I have a class coming in. I'm sorry. I'll okay. See you tomorrow. Hey, Arun. Dude, get over here. Yeah. Did you skip class today? And We're on the brink of something massive. This is way more important than school. Alright, what do you mean? Did you stay here overnight? Maybe. Dude, you're so dumb. How is this worth your time? I'm not dumb, I'm a genius. This research is a free ride to college. Okay, come back down to Earth now. What is the research? What does it do? This serum. Okay, what about the serum? This is a strain of CRISPR that can give you super strong mind reading powers. What's CRISPR? And why are you thinking about genetic engineering? I'm getting a little nervous here. Genetic engineering is a process where you artificially change the basis of the DNA. Naturally, this would happen through genetic mutations, which have four kinds. There is substitution, where you take out a base and swap for another one, insertion, where you just add in a base, deletion, where you remove a base, and inversion, where you switch out opposite bases. Now, this naturally occurs as errors in codons when DNA in cells duplicate. However, genetic engineering is when you change them artificially on purpose. What does this have to do with CRISPR? So CRISPR stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats. CRISPR-Cas9 proteins have been found certain bacteria to correct DNA and fight against viruses that attack them. Scientists have found many ways to use CRISPR to modify human genes, allowing things like the curing of genetic diseases, fighting against viruses that attack the immune system, and now strengthening mind reading powers in people. Dude, that sounds insanely complicated and crazy. And what are you going to do with that serum? Don't you want to try it? Why would I want to try it? Imagine all the power you'd have. You'd be able to completely read someone's mind. I don't want to become your lab rat. 
You won't be. I don't want to become anyone else's lab rat. Stronger powers are just making more of a target. Okay, okay, fine. Some other day. For now, can you just give me another DNA sample? Alright. Okay. Here you go. Hey, did you put something in this? Uh, no. Just swallow it. Alright. Everybody, I want everything off your desk, desk clear, I need phones away. Let me do Latif. Alright, I need everyone's attention. So you guys are gonna be getting a quiz. This is your makeup quiz. You obviously cannot speak during the makeup quiz. You cannot take out your notes during the makeup quiz. You certainly cannot have an electronic device out during your makeup quiz. Good luck everyone. You ready to try that serum now? The opposite. I want you to get rid of my mind-reading powers. You know I can't do that. I don't even have an end out ready. Yet you still lace that test tube with your serum. What are you talking about? I know what I'm talking about. Ever since you gave me that test tube, my mind-reading powers have gotten stronger. They just naturally got stronger. That's a lie. I stand by the truth. Whatever. Can you at least reverse my powers back to what they were before you gave me the serum? Do you understand how hard this kind of thing is? It took me so long to make the serum, and that is by accident. What makes you think that I can make an antidote? I know you can make the antidote because you're working on one before you force-fed your little pet project serum to me. I okay? Never, I never thought you'd use my powers against me. Why? You put your pet project in front of my sanity, this is what you get! What makes you think I'll make it for you even though you have my knowledge, you don't have my skill? Alright, listen. I will report you to the Bureau so hard, alright? You'll never be able to practice again. You'll be in prison for years! Abusing your permission as an intern, working with CRISPR. Alright, no one will hear from you again. Your career is over! Go get you, I'll make it into it. You better make it! Oh, oh my arm! I need you that hand! For what?
three away. You're that. of what kind of iron is Uh, Omar? Situational irony. It's situational irony because he should be able to, you know, get it by law, and he can't. He just completely fails. Um... Oh, okay, we're out of time, guys. So, um... If you have a makeup quiz here, I have them graded. Please line up in the front of the room. Everybody else, go on to the next class. Adrian, Ariana, Elijah, Ali, good job. Um, Mo, did really well. Good job, dude.